Despite spending a fair amount of time making fishing lures, one of the most important bits of pike tackle I make for myself are the wire connections from the lure to the main line, the leaders. I normally make my leaders from a dedicated pike wire. For strength, I'm using a breaking strain of 30 pounds. This should cover most of my lures up to a maximum weight of one and a half ounce. The wire is made from seven strands of stainless steel that have been twisted and coated with nylon. To fasten the wire, I'm using single copper crimps and to hide them from snags, rubber crimp covers. For the main connection, barrel swivels are great for dealing with line twist. And to attach the lure, medium sized egg snaps. Tools wise, I use sharp snips for cutting the wire. And for squeezing the crimps, a pair of cup to half round crimping pliers. And finally, a drop of super glue. I always begin the assembly by sliding on both crimp covers as I have a tendency to forget them later on. Next it's the first crimp followed by a swivel and then I can make a loop by pushing the tag end into the crimp. If I've sized the crimps correctly this should be a snug fit. Then I can cinch down the loop. To crimp, it's just a case of lining up the pliers so a little of the crimp is showing on either side of the jaws. And then one firm squeeze of the pliers should do the job. The great thing about this tool is the six little teeth that make individual pressure points on the crimp. And also, even when the jaws are fully closed, there's a little gap left to prevent the wire becoming completely crushed. To finish the first end, I'm using a drop of super glue, and then I can pull the cover over the crimp and the first ring on the swivel. Lengthwise, I generally make my leaders somewhere between 14 and 18 inches. To rig the other end, I can slide on another crimp and then my snap and repeat the crimping procedure. One of the deciding factors when I'm choosing a snap is whether it's large enough to be easily opened by my fat fingers. To store the leaders, I use a piece of plastic pipe with a couple of end caps. This protects the leaders and stops them getting mangled in my fishing bag. I find even homemade leaders seldom last forever and when they begin to kink or whir I tend to save the swivel and the snap if they're in good condition and bin the wire. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share or subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching.